testing the water pump for the Wallaby 30cc engine. Oh yeah, pumping water baby. Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. Last time we started work on the water pump for our Wallaby 30cc engine. The Wallaby Twin is a water-cooled engine so we need a coolant system. Last time we made the impeller and we made the water pump pulley. This time we're gonna continue on and make the water pump bracket and we're gonna make the water pump body. There's a couple of hose barb fittings that we could also make like we did for our oil pump. What I did was I went down to the hardware store, bought a couple of brass fittings and I'm gonna use those. So we'll start off by looking at the bracket then we'll look at the body, and then we'll put it on a test bed and see if our water pump pumps water. All right, let's go look at the drawings for the bracket. We can either make it using CNC, or we can make a simpler version on our mill. Before we jump into the bracket, let's take a look at our water pump assembly. Last time we made the impeller here, the shaft, this little brass bushing, and the water pump pulley. Today we're gonna to be working on this bracket and the body. Then we're gonna put the whole thing together and test it. So let's look at the water pump bracket drawing first. So this is our Wallaby water pump. The thing I want to show here before we look at just the bracket is how the fan belt fits between these two mounting arms. And kind of look at that geometry there. And the purpose of this boss is to hold our brass bushing perpendicular to the mounting surface of the water pump. It doesn't need to be pretty because it's hidden by the pulley itself. We will use a, a reamer to create the correct hole there. So I machined my water pump bracket on the CNC machine. Two operations, machined the top, flipped it over, machined this little bit here. To machine this manually, I would take a piece of 3 8 inch stock, cut a piece and mount it into the mill. Then set my DRO to the center point here and drill all of the holes. I would use the DRO bolt hole center function to drill these five mounting holes. If you don't have a bolt hole function on your DRO, you have to do a little bit of trigonometry to locate these. Once the holes are drilled, then I would scribe this keep out area where this boss is and remove one eighth of an inch of material over the whole part except where this boss is. Then I would use die chem to paint the part and scribe out these zones and remove another eighth of an inch of material resulting in part like this. Finally, with it still mounted in the mill, I would bring a boring head down and remove the material and clean up this boss on the outside. This boss is hidden, so it doesn't need to be too pretty. It's hidden behind the pulley. Finally, flip this over, remove eighth of an inch of material here, make this cut as, just, as shown here, one inch from the center. And that's our bracket. Now for the water pump body, I just 3D printed it. And this works so well, I think I'm just gonna use this on the engine. There's an O-ring here. It's mounted in a groove to seal the bracket. The impeller sits in there like so. simple part when you 3D print it. It'd be a little bit more complicated to machine this, but I'll put the drawings and the STL file if you want to print it um, up on my Patreon page. Then the uh, two hose barbs just simply screw in the back. So there's the water pump body. We have all of the parts. Impeller. Pulley. The O-ring. 
and we'll screw this together. And then let's uh, figure out a way to hook this up to a motor and spin it and give it a test. Let's take a look at my setup here. I've got a power supply, 12 volt power supply, an ESC, a little servo controller that I will use to adjust the speed of this DC brushless motor. Then I've got some gearing here, a couple of 3D printed brackets. Here we have the DC brushless motor. There's some reduction gearing, belt tied to a bigger gear, and then our little fan belt down here tied to our water pump pulley. So there's quite a bit of gear reduction here um, for our test. This test setup was built to test our electronic ignitions. So I've got a magnet embedded here in this pulley and a hall sensor back in there that you may be able to see right there. So we'll be seeing this later when we start testing our electronic ignitions uh, for the Wallaby. So that's our test setup. Then over here we've got a water reservoir with a water pickup tube going into the center one and then we just spit it back into the bowl. So let's see how this thing works. There we have it, the water pump for our Wallaby 30cc engine. I was actually pretty surprised how well it works. I had some reservations about using plastic for the body of the water pump, but I think it's going to work fine. This PET-G that I use is a high temperature plastic, much higher than the temperature of the water, and it's pretty well isolated from the body of the engine, so we'll see how that works out. So until next time, I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Take care.